Good morning. Morning, everyone. Welcome back. Um, we're sat in our beautiful courtyard. Well. Uh, it's a beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. Um, but yes, we have no roof and um, <laughs> this is it. If you've seen our previous video, you will have uh, heard that we were let down by the guys that were going to come and do the patio floor for us, put the nice big stones down. Um, they were supposed to be coming last weekend, they were supposed to be coming this weekend, just gone. Uh, we've heard absolutely nothing from them, so we've decided we're going to do it ourselves. Yeah. But it's going to be even better. Yes, we're going to make it more fabulous than yes. originally fabulously planned, aren't we? Absolutely. We're going to, obviously, it's going to have a roof on it, it's going to have a smoker. We're going to leave that wherever it is, isn't We it? are. We had a barbecue barbecue at the weekend, rather than smoking. Using wood. Using wood and um, obviously you've got the lid up and there is quite a lot of smoke comes out of it which if it was underneath the roof um, we plan to put it on this wall um, it's going to smoke us out so we've decided to leave it where it is and it's, it works well doesn't it, it works really well it's yeah. tucked away it's tidy um, we might need to think about a bit of shade for Andy who is the barbecue chef um, nah, but right. that's later <laughs> <laughs> yes and we're going to have electric in it etc um, etc et so um let's get into it yeah right so these are the stones we've got for the patio they're huge and thick <laughs> six inches thick something like that more um all variety of different sizes i'm hoping we've got enough um but we've got plenty of other stones that we can put in and use to fill in i think what we'll do with these is spread them out um across the whole area kind of trying to evenly space them a bit and then fill in with smaller stones in between them. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a big project. Um, yes, yeah, a huge project, <laughs> especially in this heat as well. You know, when it gets to midday, um, which is about now, it gets very, very hot. Too hot to be humping these about. So, let's go and have a look. So those that saw the other patio videos, I think there's three so far altogether. We'll be familiar with this area. Um, what we need to do, I think, is clear out. There's some high points and some dips. I think we need to clear out, um, find the levels first. And um, down this side, which you might not be able to see because it's in the shade, but I'll move the camera, uh, is the original drainage thing that used to be for the roof. And um, we're going to obviously want to leave this in place because it's original and it slopes gently down that way, so any water runs out and um, into the deposit out there. But we've got these big stones that are already here. Um, I think we're going to have to take these out. And I'm going to use this as the level that way and hopefully make it so um, the wa any water that lands on here will run into there. Oh, that's the plan. Um, so, yeah, I think the first thing you need to do is get these lifted. These are just stones we've set aside in the channel um, that we're going to use or hope to use when we come to finally do it. Um, so, yeah, the first job, I think, is to get these out of the way. Don't know where I'm going to put them because I've not left myself any room. And um, yeah, we'll have a see. Must be mad. <laughs> what lives under these stones, eh? Right, come on. I'm just laying down there. Fantastic. Well, that wasn't too bad. Um, right, I'll carry on and see if I can move the rest of them. found a family of toads I think they are there's another one buried in the ground there um, I was going to put the stone back and leave it but oh dear I don't know what to do with them now I guess they'll find their own way so far I've found 
two scolopendras, horrible, deadly things, um, a, a, quite a big lizard, and now a couple of toads under those. Um, can't help but feel bad for them, but I didn't know, and they've got to come up if we want to do this. If I'd have known, I'd have left that particular stone in place for them. Um, but it's probably not good for the long term future anyway, if we're going to cover it all anyway. Um, so I'm just going to leave it now um, and let them, well, let them find a way. Because obviously the, the house isn't there anymore. Um, so poor little things, but yeah, what can you do? I can, however, carry on over here. Um, even without taking any levels, I can see that this is too low. So I've just managed to lift this one. So I'm going to try and lift lift all these up and um, take them out and we can relay them on the top um, we're probably going to have a step there over that side I think um, but we'll figure that out when we get to it because it wasn't going to disturb the old one we may end up pulling it all up and, and relaying it all this <laughs> it's absolutely full of rubble and rubbish inside there we're saving that another day for a treat for us on another day and say we're probably going to pop this back into um, a storage area or something something useful other than the wonky thing that it is so I'll see if I can get these up and get them out of the way and then we can progress right excellent they're out of the way uh, the good news is yes there is some good news and um, I've just found some bonus things very this proved the most difficult to get out. Crikey, it's huge. Um, I'll leave them there for a minute. <laughs> um, I'm just going to keep exploring this area, see what else we can find. Oh, yeah, the more we can find, the better, really. Fantastic. Right, okay. Um, I've got out as many as I think I can. I can't see any, any more that are going to be useful to us. We've got some massive thick slabs there. Um, the little ones over there I've put over there. So the next thing now we need to do definitely is take our levels. Um, I'm going to use a laser level for that. Um, but obviously it's probably far too bright to see a little red dot in this. It just pales out. So we'll probably do that. Well, we'll do that next one. Um, the light's right. Right, so my level's done. What I did on this drainage chute at this side, I just put a laser level on it, leveled it pointed it across and where the dot hit that wall I put a piece of timber in which is exactly the level that we want so if you can see in this side I know it's in the shade I don't know if it'll, how well it'll come out but we're quite low here which is great because that means we don't have to do much digging if any at all some of this stuff will just be dragging about a bit it's rock hard and a good base um, so yeah that made me very happy um, but before we start on the floor like I said before, we're going to be having electrics in it, so I want to get a cable coming underneath and we're going to coil it up on the back of that post there, um, ready for wherever we want it to go when it's all done. But we need to get it in first, obviously, because we don't want wires, we don't want to see wires, we're going to put it under the floor. Um, but unfortunately, we've got to start out the gate, because I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. Right, okay, so we're outside. Um, there's a plastic pipe in the wall there. Um, I was going to put a tap in, but I'm going to use that to run my electric cable through and I'm going to run it down the wall under the front of the step because we need to make a step there to keep Jesse out <laughs> um, and then uh, it's going to run in under the floor, under the, the stones, curl up on the back of the railway sleeper. Also, because that's a water drainage chute, if we put a step in there, particularly grass, um, it, the water won't be able to get out of it so it'll just form a puddle so we've got some of this plastic pipe um, that I'm going to run under here you can see it, it runs around here the water down into the deposit so if I put this under the stones here we're going to make this nice and flat hopefully and um, yeah the water will run down that unfortunately that's not long enough and the rest of it I've got a few meters of it is in um, Emilio's outbuilding uh, we've not seen it for a couple of days I haven't got a key so I'll have to figure that one out. Um, in the meantime, I can get excavating and have a look at what we've got, get this cable in and make a space to start on this. Let's get on with it. So this is where the water, um, the trough that collects the water off the roof exits. Um, we need to clear this 
there's like a little trench we need to clear this area of course we filled it in with stones for the guys when they got the wheelbarrow uh, to, so it was easy for them to get in and out um, now we need to clear it to get that uh, cable in so um, yeah I'll crack on with that right to give you more of an idea now that we've cleared it um, this is the piece of pipe that will come the water will come down here and through that pipe and drain away so that we don't end up with puddles um, it's not long enough as Andy said we've got to wait to get that big piece from um, Emilio's workshop lockup um, but this is the main um, has the main cables from the solar panel going through into the workshop and um, so we've just fed that pipe underneath to see that it all fits without disturbing that and it does um, the electric cable will come out of the workshop through a water pipe to protect it um, down here a long channel here we've just cleared this bit as well if you can see that my knee's not in the way and then that will go up the railway sleeper and we can have lights in the courtyard exciting I've just spoken with Emilio um, he's coming down later so we can get the pipe out of his um, building <laughs> um, I've just Jesse proofed it temporarily. We can't really do anything because that the pipe where the water is going to exit, um, and we don't actually get a lot of water you know, coming down here because we have got gutters on the roof. Um, but it's going to it will probably collect off this roof as well when that's up. Um, so it should be big enough. I don't really want to put the hard plastic thing in because it, it goes quite brittle and it might break. So, but that's perfect. Um, when I get that in first, I'm going to concrete it up to join this chute here. So all the water will go down there. If it backs up a bit, it takes a bit of time to empty. If we get heavy, really heavy rain, it doesn't matter. Um, so th that's the first job. So, uh, luckily, it's getting too hot anyway now to be out here in the sun, um, digging and mixing concrete and stuff like that. So um, we'll pick it up in the morning. Uh, okay, so I've got my pipe. Um, it lives in that building behind me there. Um, I need two meters off it, so I'm just going to decide which end to cut. Um, because it's a big coil spring. <laughs> I think I'll go off this end here. Um, yeah. right, right. Two meters there. Hello, Dotty. You're <laughs> helping. What's the matter? What's the matter? It's little Dotty, it's little Dotty, she always comes to help. You like to work, don't you, eh? You like to work, don't you? Hey, you like to work, she does. <laughs> oh, good girl. Right, let's get this cut before it gets too hot. <laughs> Hopefully this is going to work. There it is. We are then. Oh, get myself comfortable. Take this one out. It's got a nice curve going around that way for the channel, but I don't know. I'm going to stuff a rag down it so it doesn't get full of dust and stuff when I shove it up here. I'll see if that works. The old actual drainage channels here, it's made out of, of roofing tiles. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> That's it. There we go. Oh. That's pretty good. This end will weight down after. <laughs> um, right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to line this now with concrete um, to make that flow go right through this pipe. I'm going to try, that's the plan. Right, I'm debating how to tackle this because obviously I've got to get another pipe in here for me electric cable. Um, what I've done, I've put a scaffold tube in the end of that. I'm going to put this stone on there 
like so ish um, and then another one low and underneath it cement all that in so it's all solid and then take this pipe out which should leave me with a nice jet that'll be jesse proof as well <laughs> which is very important um, and then I need to get this set in first because well, if I put the other pipe in first I won't be able to get underneath this if that makes sense and this needs to have a pretty good seal around it so uh, yeah I think I'm just going to mix up a bucket first and get this bit set in and then we can look at getting our electric pipe which is coming down through there and up there as we said before right I'll get a mix on I'm actually using white sand um, because we're going to be doing all this in lime eventually all the walls so even though we'll probably point over it and um, the colour won't be that much different I'm just going to make sure I get a good bed under here there we go we want it to be fairly watertight doesn't matter if it leaks a bit Now we said this one didn't we it's look all right. Same in there. Um, I think quite nicely in there. very sloppy because I want it to run in to the thing um, right you stay there he's not staying he's not playing That's it. I'm just going to throw some bits in the back here just to give it a bit of stability lock it all together oh. smash in we'll carry on and get it done Right, so we're about built up there to sort of somewhere near where we want to be. Um, we need to let that go off now, I don't want to mess with it at all. Because even if I stand on this, it's going to, might move it. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to get my pipes cut um, for this water pipe, I think. So, yeah, we'll just let that go off a little bit. I love it when a plan comes together. Unfortunately, in this case, it hasn't. Um, the pipe that was in the wall had an elbow on it and I couldn't get the wire past the elbow um, assembled uh, so I've had to knock a, a hole in the wall which I'll have to fill in later um, but I've got my cable through I'm just going to assemble my pipes now and um, get it through to to where I want it I can never tell on this screen if you can see that or not but after an epic struggle <coughs> excuse me, the pipe's in and um, we have a wire we're going to terminate that in a junction box behind this sleeper but it's not connected at the minute so it can just live there for now when the stones are in you won't see any of that and um, I'm just going to let this go off a little bit more it's going off nicely and so and then we can get the rest of this step done excellent right so I've just done another mix um, probably the last mix of the day because it's 34 degrees C which is about 93 Fahrenheit it's a bit warm for mortar and stuff and it's still getting warmer Cassie's helping me <laughs> what I want to do now is get this one in here and get a big stone in there at least that makes it jesse proof whatever I've got left after those I'm just going to start consolidating a bit of the outside so we've got a good solid base there then that we can work from um, when we carry on this pipe I keep turning it round to make sure it doesn't stick so it'll slide out um, so I'll get these in so there it is you can see that on my legs we've got a little I've took the pipe out so we've got a nice little neat hole there which we can easily shove a bar or something down um, should it get blocked with anything um, we're jesse proofed and we've got our electric cable in for our lighting sound system massive TV only joking or whatever we want um, so yeah that's a good result for today um, the door even shuts and bolts as well 
fantastic so yeah very pleased with that right so that's dried fantastically and I've been up and at them earlier this morning um, setting some stones they're not set yet just working out because we want a nice slope coming down here but not too steep obviously because we've got four ton of sand and gravel there in the sacks to bring through and all these massive stone slabs behind me so we want a nice smooth slope hopefully we can wheelbarrow them up um, to take them in um, yeah so we need to get these set in and then hopefully tomorrow they can start to um, start oh, grafting, slaving away right okay so I've wet the whole area down and um, the first mix is coming, Shaman's going to be firing mixes at me we need to move pretty quickly because we, we don't get long in the shade here as you can see it's here now, sun's coming round um, it's supposed to be 38 degrees C potentially today which is um, about 100 Fahrenheit, just a slightly over so it's not good for cement if it gets to that temperature so we want to get it in before it gets that hot so let's get cracking Right, so we've got in what we have prepared need to sort some of these out for this side um, all the rubble and stuff that's around here is actually going back in as well we're using it as hardcore um, but right now we need a cool off it's getting really warm you see the sun's coming closer and closer to us um, so yeah well I'll take five and then see what we can do with that after right so we're beaten by the sun I've got all this prepared now um, ready for cementing in cut the end of the pipe off so these can go straight in well it'll be tomorrow morning now because it's far too hot for cement and then I've just got to finish off the end bit there to ramp it up the pipe's been cut off that now runs into the, the drainage channel which we need to keep clean um, so yeah it's, it's far too hot now for anything um, but we're not going to waste it so as Andy said, we're not going to waste the afternoon. It is too hot now to carry on working out there. It's in full sun. Um, but it's 37 degrees somewhere. Yeah. And then coming up for 100 Fahrenheit. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Um, so we're off to get some shade, um, some covering for this area here. Um, because the guys are coming to help us, as you know, to lift those great big heavy stones, get them in position. And we can't let them be working out here in full sun. So we need some kind of temporary shade um, because we can't put a roof on yet. Well, and we need to put the gravel down as well. Yes, yeah. yeah, so we're going to put a roof on, but we need to point this wall um, behind me, you can see. Um, and if I put a beam up to Hanks to sit the roof on, we won't be able to point it. No. And it's too hot to be using lime. Yeah out in the sun on that wall yeah, just so temporary yeah we're going to put a nice shade cloth up prop, a proper one um so i mean when we come to the gravel so we've got a bit of shade and we'll be able to start using it pretty quickly yeah so um that's that's about all that's, we can do yeah. to, today isn't it this yeah. video i hope you've enjoyed it yes. um thank you for watching as yes. always thanks to all our subscribers <laughs> thank you so much all our patreons and everyone that's bought us a coffee and we will see you on sunday